Today on Made to Hack, I light up some dark corners. In a previous video, part of the Tips Blitz 2019 campaign, I showed you how to choose LED strips that are suitable for the workshop. In today's video, I will go ahead and replace an old fluorescent tube with a set of LED strips. Today, I'm going to be replacing this old uh, fluorescent light bulb with a new LED strip. This is how the uh, lighting situation looks in this area. And uh, we'll see how it looks once I changed. Now that you've got your LED strip, what you need next is something to mount it on. I've always mounted my LED strips on just an aluminum profile, like this strip of aluminum. It does two things. One, it gives you a nice smooth surface on which to stick the, you know, the adhesive backing onto. And two, the aluminium at, acts as a heat sink for the LEDs. LEDs do get hot as well, and using an aluminium strip is the perfect way of going about it. Now something flat like this is not a major thing under counters. However, if it's going to go overhead, you want uh, like a wall on the side so you don't look directly into the LEDs and kind of temporarily blind you. So I was thinking something along this line. Now this is a W channel, but imagine it was just a U channel uh, where you would, uh, of course this would go in all the way down so that it would rest on the top and then all the light would come down. You know, it wouldn't uh, come out the sides. However, this time around, I went to my the same place where I got the LEDs and I got this two meter length LED uh, uh, strip uh, aluminum profile and it was really cheap something like four uh, euros per meter. It's a U profile right and the way you do is you put the strip in as such glue it in of course imagine this is going to be upside down all the light goes down it doesn't come out the side. Furthermore, they also have this plastic bit that allows you to cover it and get some nice diffuse lighting. It's also got end caps for each end and these little, um, I guess, clips. These will be screwed up uh, to the ceiling and then it just snaps in like this. So that way this will be held down by these clips on the ceiling. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, take a pair of tin snips and cut these at the one meter length. Now with regular aluminum profile, I'll just use like usually a hacksaw or maybe like a, a table saw to just cut it down. Uh, but I think this, uh, this profile seems thinner and I should be able to uh, cut the sides using just tin snips. Okay, so once I got the sides snipped, I should just be able to rip this apart. And so I've got uh, two one meter sections. And um, of course, I'm gonna just uh, lay in the strip here, cut it to length, and uh, solder it to the power supply unit, and then install it um, um, up in the ceiling. All right, I've temporarily uh, removed the fluorescent lighting here and I've kept it on just so I could show the uh, installation of the of the LED strip, the rails, the, the aluminum profile. The aluminum profiles come with these clips that sort of slide on or just clip on. And then these are of course uh, connected to the ceiling, usually through the use of a screw and something like um, you know, one of these um, uh, inserts that you would use for like a wall. And the way it works is um, that you place it on the rail on the edge and throw put, put in a screw. Now the fluorescent light beforehand had to use these because my uh, ceiling here is there's it's a thick layer of plaster before you get into any brick. But I'm not going to be using um, screws anymore. 
Instead, I'm going to just pre-assemble the clips as such on the edges. And then I'm going to use this high tack adhesive. It could hold something like 20 kilograms per square centimeter or about 45, 50 pounds per square centimeter. And I'm just going to apply it to the uh, area where you would have a screw normally. So again, I'm just gonna clip it on, put the clips on. Okay, so I've got the LED strips uh, soldered together here in one meter length. And uh, I've gone and I've um, stuck them to the uh, aluminum uh, profile. And the way you do that is easy. It's got uh, double-sided sticky tape on the back. You just peel off the backing and stick it down uh, to, uh, to the profiles. And they're both, um, both strips are connected in parallel. Now, initially I had wanted to um, uh, connect it together with my overhead panel here. But in this case, I decided to try this uh, uh, wireless uh, RF controller. And uh, so I've connected it separately to, to a 60 watt power supply. So I'm gonna uh, now connect this uh, up to um, my ceiling and uh, test out the whole uh, setup. Here are the strips installed. I'm now gonna turn off the fluorescent and power on the LED strips. Okay. Now, uh, the controller has like a few different options, like 50% power, 25% power, full brightness. Of course, you could adjust it a little bit. It's also got these like weird modes like strobe mode for some reason or other i just have to figure out a way to sort of maybe put in these um these light covers to diffuse it more but yeah i like it that it doesn't blind you it just goes straight down i like it it gives a nice uh, even light to this area it's nice and bright and well color adjusted even though i'm a bit uh, on the warm side here, I've, I've set the camera to 4400 Kelvin. I should probably change that to 4000. Actually, it's pretty close. Anyway, so yeah, that's how to install uh, LED strips. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.